95% of food in Hong Kong is imported. Hong Kong is Australia's second largest export market for seafood. Listen to four Hong Kong companies discuss key tips Australian companies should know about exporting seafood to this prosperous but competitive market. The total import figure you know, of seafood to Hong Kong is like 2.5 billion US dollars per year and around 35% of it is for re-export. The main importer into the Hong Kong market is US, Canada, Norway, Australia, and Japan. New Bond Marine is a Hong Kong importer. Their clients include air catering companies, hotels, retail outlets, and online delivery services. Keith Choi, managing director, says the popular types of seafood in Hong Kong are fish, prawns, scallops, crabs, lobsters, abalone, and clams. Online shopping is getting more and more significant in, in the Hong Kong market now. Uh, it increased uh, drastically in the past two years. It increased like 30% of uh, the total sales of our shop. And we see that, you know, the trend is increasing. Hong Kong has long been one of the world's most prominent destinations for travellers of all tastes and budgets. Are there any differences in perceptions between Hong Kong consumers and tourists regarding seafood? Hong Kong attracts more than 40 million tourists from mainland China into Hong Kong. And most of the mainland China people would prefer to eat live seafood, such as lobsters, abalone, crabs, clams and chilled fish. Worldwide Seafood Limited have been engaged in wholesale and retail services for more than 40 years in Hong Kong, Macau and mainland China. Their clients include hotels, casinos and air catering companies. Melinda Ung, sales director, says the look of package can make huge impact. Most of the Hong Kong people love to try new species of seafood product. Therefore, a lot of retailers, they prefer to have new packaging. For example, one kilo pack vacuum pack, two kilos vacuum pack. Or a lot of retailers also introduce the marinated products. For example, marinated mussels, marinated smoked salmon. Besides, Wholesalers would prefer to use original taste because they could add their own flavors into each individual products. Ocean Park is one of the market leaders in theme parks in Asia, with over 100 million visitors since 1977. Sustainability is key to the Ocean Park business model. Ocean Park is the first theme park who requires certifications in terms of sustainable seafood. We launched our sustainable menu in 2000. 13 for the restaurants so it's a total sustainable seafood menu but for us we are the first one in asia to require that in a theme park stephanie chung program officer for wwf hong kong explains how to procure certified sustainable seafood certification in hong kong is extremely important um, for consumers, for example, if you walk into a supermarket, the only way you know right now whether a product is sustainable or not is if whether they have a logo on it. Because otherwise, there's no way for consumers to find out. Um, and from a business perspective, it's the same for restaurants, caterers. Um, having a logo would facilitate the process of um, everyone trying to figure out whether a certain product is sustainable or not. To raise awareness of your brand in Hong Kong and Macau is important. Let's hear the advice from Keith. I think the Australian seafood suppliers should invest a little bit more on the heat point of sales materials. Uh, they can do some more in-house uh, tasting promotions in the supermarket chains. They can also work together with some food service customers to do some cross promotions inside their restaurants. So to hit the ground running, remember to provide quality promotional material and samples to distributors to build up your brand in Hong Kong and Macau. Don't forget to check out the other two videos in Austrade's Seafood in Hong Kong series available on the Austrade website.